Martha Schwartz, landscape architect, participant in the Hay Festival last night. It's such a pleasure that you're here with us at IE University. And I have three short questions for you, but I know you'll give us some great answers and especially some information and ideas for our students. But tell me a little bit about landscape architecture. It's a relatively young profession. On the other hand, it's the fastest growing design profession in the United States. Why is this and how do you see its position? Well, uh, landscape architecture historically has been seen as a subset to architecture. Um, I know when I started school in landscape, it was like the kids who couldn't do the math would end up going to landscape <laughs> architecture. And um, it was seen more of almost a decorative art. Now, some of the great leaders or historic leaders within landscape architecture did not see it that way, but in general, that was the perception. And that because it was young, we were trying to legitimize the, ourselves by you know, being able to give good service and that we were important. And uh, But uh, the success of the profession actually has grown exponentially as the awareness of of basically climate change and the importance of uh, how we uh, deal with the earth itself, how we deal with the landscape, how we plan it, and how we uh, provide and protect it while we're actually building things. So, I mean, this awareness about nature and the importance of living in balance with nature has grown. Uh, the profession itself has also risen up. I mean, we after all, we're the green part of, you know, greening, which we can talk about. So we would be the natural profession to go to if you wanted to be thinking beyond the footprint of a building. And how do you actually think about and organize and design the landscape so it functions, so you have trees, so you could protect nature, create habitat, deal with water, understand the different systems that kind of underpin both human nature and natural nature. I mean, so uh, the profession has grown in terms of its visibility, its complexity, its ability to actually take into consideration a lot of different systems. Now, talking about sustainability and cities, because a lot of your work is done inside cities, and that's probably the most crucial area for understanding the potential and the challenges of sustainability. And you like the phrase beyond green. So what do, you, what do you mean by that? And what is this relationship of landscape, architecture, sustainability, and cities? Well, uh, I chose to take the topic beyond green because uh, People very often have a very limited view of what landscape architects do and who we are. And still we lumber underneath this conception that, you know, you build and then you bring the landscape architects in and they'll put some trees and plants and bushes or vertical green or, you know, things that are attached to the building or green technologies. And, but that isn't really our value. Uh, our real value is in teaching people to understand the landscape as an infrastructure, a platform upon which we all live and connect with one another, and that's where we connect with nature and each other as well. So it isn't just about green, it's about people and how we connect people to place and how we create value. In other words, places that people love to be in and how we actually create places where people want to live and how we use the landscape in smart ways so that we can use the little that we have left in ways that help to support human life and quality of life. So it's really beyond decoration. Yes. And when you talked about sustainability, I know you said it has so much to do with people's appreciation of that space. Yes. And I think you talked about sustainability as not just in the, the limited sense of ecology, 
but had having to do with the broader cultural values and social values. Is that is that right? That, that's absolutely right. Because um, in, in order to make something last over time and something that really uh, uh, creates continuity, uh, you need people who want it and want to take care of it and want to live there and and have a desire for it, you know, to create that desire to uh, and value. So uh, to create places where people want to live because it's beautiful and you can enjoy the sound of trees or you can see green or that you can meet a neighbor and have some coffee on the street and you don't have to walk far to you know, go outside and have your children play. I mean, these things create quality of life, and then people want to keep it, want to maintain it. You don't want to rebuild it. You want to just keep on investing in it, and that's what creates sustainability. We at IE have a School of Architecture and Design. We have um, very interested students um, uh, who want to make a change in the world, want to be leaders in the future. What would you tell our architecture students? Any advice to them about the future and their careers? Well, I have a particular soft spot for the architects coming out of Spain because I think that the architects already have a much broader view of what they're doing other than doing an object. I think you're already doing a very good job about really having a bigger understanding of context, of uh, urbanism, and how what they're doing is affected by that mm -hmm. and responds to it. Um, I would say that there is a piece that most architects are missing, which is, well, how exactly does their building interface with the ground plane? And I would say that if you could actually take a course in landscape architecture and learn some fundamental things about the scale of the landscape, how you grade, you know, how you actually take into consideration the specifics of how a building meets the ground plane. Uh, it would only give them more uh, control and power over what they're producing because how the building meets the ground and what happens at the ground and what the pedestrian plane is and how that relates to the building is absolutely crucial in whether it's successful. So it's just like, you know, I love the architects who actually then take landscape architectural degrees. We have a number of those people in our office because what we do is so bound up with the city and we're building on top of infrastructure and building within buildings and making landscapes on top of buildings. and. So it's a, a very well combined set of, uh, uh, of uh, knowledge. So it sounds like it's integrating the whole thing, yeah. taking into account the big picture. Yes, the big pi picture and the ground plane. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Martha Schwartz, thank you so much for being with us at IE, and we look forward to you coming back it's soon. It's been my pleasure. It's been so wonderful. Thank you, Martha. Bye.